It took me a while to get to this aha moment of, of really wanting to do this, or not really wanting to do it, but deciding to do it. I wanted to do it for years, and it was this realization that if I didn't do it, I would regret it. I'm convinced that I couldn't have done this anywhere else other than Detroit. My name is Eric Yelsma, and we are in Detroit Denim's factory. We're a little different in that we're not just a brand, but we actually make our own stuff. And that's really unique in, in the U.S. and in North America. The fact that we did it in Detroit, I think, has, has a real manufacturing bent toward it. You know, if you look historically, Detroit was just always this sort of Rust Belt, middle America manufacturing place. And there's still those ideals and belief of, of making things. I'm very proud of what I made because I feel so good when we made a very good gin. All of our raw materials are domestically sourced, and so there's a premium associated with that in, in terms of the quality of denim we get and the thread, even the hardware that we use, uh, and the leather that goes onto the patch. So many of the brands in Detroit want to work together because we all want to grow. We all want to see Detroit as a city become successful. So when we do something as simple as making aprons for a food truck or a new restaurant in town or a coffee shop, it just instills a sense of community. We have the city of Detroit motto, which I'm paraphrasing, but from the ashes we will rise. And that is really symbolic for Detroit because we've had our ups and downs, but we always seem to come back. We're trying to create a new system that is, is fair to, to its employees, pays living wages, is, is fair and sustainable to the environment. That's our biggest challenge of all, is like how do we create a new apparel model that's, that's not so gross? Obviously, the, the effect that the automobiles had on here, good and bad. There's remarkable substance to this city that's, that's really inspiring. <laughs> 